welcome to another episode of the Fandom Experience Podcast. I have my guest. Tony Ade. Natasha Wabu. Today we have special topics we're talking about today, man. I mean, um, the first thing, streaming and how it changed music. Yeah, this is going to be a very special episode of the Phantom Experience. A very special yeah, one. A Phantom Experience for real. Period. So, go ahead first. You said streaming and how it changed the music industry. Yes. How, what's, what's your stance streaming on it? Streaming and TikTok. So, as we all, like, we're all, like, you know, late 90s, like, that kind of... Um, Where are you born? Uh, you said what? 97. Oh. And she's 98. And what are you? 99. Okay, so, like, we all, like, in middle school and stuff, like, when an album dropped, like, when Drake dropped or something, over the, like, next night, the next day of school would be so live. Like, oh, my God, you saw the new Drake drop, new whatever drop. Yeah. And we'd actually get to, like, take in the whole album, like, yeah. hear it, digest it, whatever, whatever. It'll be an experience. Exactly. An experience. Ooh. <laughs> but, like, after, like, after, like, let's say Apple Music was Apple Music, Spotify, like, all those kind of things. It's just an oversaturation, and I feel like it kind of took away from like how special it was when an artist would drop because all the artists were trying to compete, like who can get something out the fastest, True. And well, keep up with the streams. Well, for me, I wouldn't. Like that. Well, that is a good point. But whenever I think of like how streaming's changed music, I think of mm -hmm. the quality of music because, mm -hmm. like, okay, music nowadays. I feel like after a certain time, I can I will look up, look back and see what year exactly. Yeah. But after a certain time, music doesn't even have like playback quality anymore. It's just they want music Whoa. that's like no. I I think that's true. A lot of music that we listen to, think about it. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna go look at like albums that dropped last year, Hell and you can nah, tell me the last tripping. time you streamed it. They don't have. I thought like they don't have playback quality. They just have a song that's gonna like you know. They want a song that's gonna collect streams, go viral on TikTok, my, and then boom. My turn didn't have playback quality. No, my turn. But look, don't you know I'm for PF though? Bro. <laughs> you know I'm for PF. <laughs> my no, turn, didn't my have turn. My turn has. But that's good music. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay, that so one, like, but what are you referring to? Good music. Good music will blow up because it's good music. But yeah. I'm saying a lot of people don't make good music anymore. They make sellable music. They yeah, make, who are you talking okay, about? Okay, example. No shade. I love her come up. But Megan Thee Stallion, her music when she first came out versus now. Yeah, because, when she was doing mixtapes because now versus she's trying to get on like for her you know label. What I'm saying? That's what they were telling me. It was different. Me. Okay, exactly. so it's kind of like it's different. It made it different. If it's like Tina Snow, her her earlier works, not mm -hmm. to be the the whole like oh she changed and I'm not saying yeah. she changed. She still you know artists will always change. She's still the but same person, difference. but I feel like her music that's... back then, her music now, it's just more you know like it's just more now you just collabing with people and now you're just doing stuff for I streams mean, yeah. versus. A lot of the songs she has dropped lately don't have any playback quality. You don't stream them after they after they get out of your recently added. Okay. You don't listen to them again. Well, besides Mega Stallion, who else? And the thing is, do a lot. The thing is, is you got to you got to bring up. Of course, of course, there's always gonna be it. there's always gonna be artists that are still like your faves that you listen yeah. to. Drake dropped something, Young Thug, yeah. like you know, but Drake. I feel like, but I whatever. Feel like I, he's the biggest Drake stand in the world. I am. I am. He's okay. the greatest rapper ever. But my thing is, you know, I'm Aubrey's angel though. Wait, wait, wait. And for PM. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Hey, that y'all are myself. That. Not, not and I'm flying, <laughs> big flying. But my thing Dude. is, don't they make good? Okay, I'm everything. <laughs> don't no bad, like, like damn. Big Barb, Pink Friday, <laughs> and Friday. Um, just so we can, just so we're clear, on Friday, stream Nikki's new drop. Okay, but my point she is, drops on Friday. Yeah. yeah, but my point is, wait, okay, wait, wait. Before you go, that album, go Chris Brown and Young Thug shit was so trash. The little, it wasn't trash. Like, stop it. It wasn't good. Stop but it. there was a couple songs I really mm -hmm. liked. That's not playback material. But that's what we're saying. Okay, so back to the point about like when things. But drop. I don't think it's because they're looking for streams. I think they just they shouldn't have collabed. But they are looking for streams because that's how the oh, that's trash. how the labels push the artists. Yeah, these that, days, that's it's true. It's streams and what's doing well and what goes viral. That's true. So now everyone's trying to like. Have it and then with TikTok, okay, but go crazy. That's how TikTok, crazy though. It did, but that's really. about it. But that's why, like, TikTok also, like, you see how oversaturated things get. Like, beatbox when beatbox came out, it was a good song. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't hear it without wanting to, to vomit. Okay, but I feel like, like, okay, but but that's okay, that's what I'm saying directly, like, specifically though, because I feel like that song just happened to blow up. But some people, but like, it's not established, established, song, established artists, but not, but I'm like, that's not really like, I get what you're saying with no, that. Established one, artists because TikTok, TikTok does, too, you but... know, but but I'm saying, like, established artists changing their sound. Okay, like, Megan, you never did choreo. Why are you doing this and that? But you got to keep elevating and, day, and growing, and that's, bro. She and can't, that's why, she can't, okay, she can't and, stand, and that's why I'm she can't saying, stay that's in the same lane. I'm not saying on the topic too long. Yeah, that's just one person. I don't want to be anti-Megan yeah. I love yeah. Megan But I'm just using her example. It's like, not, yeah. people have to keep elevating. Like, because people say, people say the baby changed, and now he's like way mainstream. No, okay, but I don't, but that's my point. I'm not trying to say anyone, someone changing and streaming, changing music is not the same thing. Obviously, as an artist, and no matter what kind of art you do, you evolve as an artist. But like, it's different. You can tell when someone is like looking for streams. I want to have number one, whatever. 
not gonna lie. That's just quality music. You but know I'm, what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna lie. Like TikTok is helping them grow as individuals. That's, and like, that's that's Drake, the thing. Drake when he made Tuesday Slide, that's not what Drake normally makes. Okay, but he and, literally okay, made that for TikTok, for TikTok. And, and it went okay, big. And, and it went crazy. But, it did what he was supposed to do. Drake could have a song with nothing on it. It's gonna go big. And it's gonna go crazy. But that but 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 that's a great example. What I'm trying to say is streaming and TikTok. They're doing it for that. When is the last time you heard you can't even say two two verses of you? No one can sing that song off of memory because it's not. Don't if you can't, that's kind of funny. I can't lie, but <laughs> all I'm trying to say is that is not. It doesn't have no playoff quality. It's not quality music. That versus Tuesday actual slide. music. Two slide. Two slide. But slide and hard. I don't want to make like it's hard. It was good. Is, it wasn't good. No. <laughs> what? It's no, it was catchy. Catchy and good are not, not the same, same thing. thing. It was good. It was catchy. It, it, you know it wasn't It's good. not necessarily crazy. You, you, wake, up, you, wake, up up. Morning, you wake up in the morning and you play Tussie Slide. Miss Hashi, leave me. <laughs> no, but, no, I'm like, I'm, I don't play it. <laughs> like, I don't, no, I don't play it, but, it was, but it's hard, though. Like, I'll listen to it. So you, don't, so you don't bump it? No. Ever, ever. No. I don't even have it saved in my library. It's never going to be saved. And I can show you right now. I feel like you can I can be a big fan of somebody and admit that like what they did was kind of funny. Exactly, subpar. You know it's not... Drake know that, and Drake knows he made TikTok song. Everyone knows that. Like, it's okay, not a, okay. So what's the, like, I don't understand. Like, issue, what's the issue it, with doing it's that? It's not an issue, but we're on topic of the TikTok whole music and streaming. How it changed the music industry? It's changed music. It's, it's just a lot of over Okay, but, but think, but think about it. People who are coming up. If you have a song, like if you became an artist today mm -hmm. and you put a song on TikTok and everybody's like playing saying, it, now, not, now okay, you blown okay, up. Okay, okay, okay. Because I think I think it's helped. For a, no, it has. No, and that's true. But they're not mutually exclusive. It's good and bad to everything. Exactly. For example, no more parties actually went platinum off of because in TikTok. Who? No, no more parties like Coleray. Like oh. So I feel like TikTok really helped because I mean Coleray has this is not her first song. Ever but the thing life. is, we never said it didn't help. Like just to make my point, like yeah, back to the streaming helping. thing, it's not so much about like is it bad or good because those good. are too like that's too black and white. Like yes, it helps artists blow up or whatever, but, quality, but at what cost? At because what if you think cost? about it, if you think about it, like even streaming and TikTok, whatever. People don't like it's it's kind of like quality versus quantity. There's every week some shit coming out. Like even yeah, me, yeah, yeah. I, thank you. Like I I've agree. gone through periods where I even was just off the new music because there's too much shit coming yeah. out at the same time to really focus like, on one album. You hear it for like, and you can't, you don't get excited like you used to. Like we yeah. used to get hype when yeah. an album was coming out. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. look up the lyrics. Like actually download the songs. Of course, you're always gonna have your artists and people that you listen to this hard. Like, like I'm not gonna say it doesn't have playback value. You, and I have but today for with everyone dropping at the same time. All the same shit. We hear the same shit. Even Crocodile Teak by Skillabang. That's a good song. TikTok blew that up. And it's just like, damn. I like, feel like there's pros and cons. There's pros, there's pros and cons. cons everything. There's pros and cons. And I'm not even saying about oversaturation because in the day, there's always going to be a lot of artists or whatever. My whole thing is the quality. If it's a good quality music, it's like, oh, bless. But mm -hmm. if it's all TikTok music, like, damn, you can keep it. Really. But I don't think, yeah. it, like, for me, I feel like the TikTok thing is very recent. So it hasn't pissed me off as much. No, I mean, it's recent, but we've been as for streaming. Okay, but streaming, so it's really streaming has almost, happened longer than TikTok. It, it has, saying. it has. But in the, because of the pandemic, pandemic really changed the way we consume mm -hmm. stuff. So because That's of true. the pandemic, Really nowadays, then if, if it goes on TikTok, it's gonna stream like you know. And it's gonna, if, so if someone's a dancer, it's gonna blow in. up. Yeah, so they're yeah. separate, but the pandemic but still, is actually like over society. You know? Yeah, so it's like okay, there's definitely think, an overlap. I feel like that's a perfect segue to saying, what do y'all consider like real music? Because y'all are y'all are y'all are y'all are bashing <laughs> the, <laughs> new, the, the new it's generation. Not I'm not bashing. Not, them. I'm so and happy for Koi. I'm happy for Megan. But you can just well, Megan and Koi not the same tennis. I'm not even saying but that. But we're still very much in the new generation. Like yeah. we're gonna like I like I like Koi Lorray exactly. So it's not so much. It's just more so like an observation. You cannot critique. You can't you can't compare certain to current like something to just like fun songs you know yeah. it's a little fun time versus quality music it's, yeah. not, a, it's not an insult it's and honestly yeah, that question but... is so interesting to me because I honestly personally don't believe in the label of real music because what's what I real do. I definitely like what, I, do. I, do. I, I, I personally do. don't because what's what has a message to someone what has a message to someone might not have the same message and like appeal to somebody what message, else what so, message is okay like I'm so sorry what like, message what's, okay, what's, what message what's, what's is bitch though? pull up in that mm, it's a mm, mm, like okay, what's the message in the song when did I say no more parties when you said it like the height of like what is you from that no but i'm just but, saying like some yeah, songs like, fun songs you know what a fun okay. song no, is but, but what's a real song to y'all like i don't know like i can't classify like, real, I, mean, like, I, mean, real. I, mean, I get what she's saying but there's some songs no. that we know that they're funny like we know they're funny but we like yeah, them yeah but that's but not really funny. like that's okay like, but that's different what's real like we know what's funny what's real to you that's my issue like i don't know what a real, real music song to me is like is. drake is it, i feel oh, like it's the artist so every song drake makes is real music and like his albums like okay, they let's, have, they, let's, it's, let's it's, 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 it's it's meaningful. Like some versus I mean, but somebody I'm rather like. That but some, sometimes to find meaning in something that don't you exactly. Know what I'm okay, the city girls to me, they just they just be talking oh, about. Not this. They just be talking about pussy. 
Okay. What's wrong with pussy? Pussy's real. There's nothing wrong with that, but like that's not that's not like okay. That's Drake. When Drake, Drake, to me, that, to me, that's not, wait, wait, I have it's a question. I have a question. So when Drake talks about pussy that he buys or pussy he gets, he, but how that's is not that that's not that's not that's not his whole like okay, catalog. So, okay, but you said the his city girls literally. Said, the okay, city but girls. You said his album. Okay, Drake has, okay. Drake has popping pussy popping okay, bottle. But, no, but, okay, but even though his album is not Natasha, based wait, off that. Even Natasha? even 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 if that's your point. Okay, city girls. What are they talking about? Meaningful somebody? Like she said, like okay, what's wrong? Like, so that means that means there's no definition of real music. Then I mean, but everything in this life is subjective. There's no like tech definition. There's no real definition, but I feel like it's your own definition. Do you like J Cole? I love J. Cole. That's real music. That's real music. And I knew he was gonna say that. That's real music. J. Cole fans Kendrick swear. Lamar, J. Cole Kendrick fans Lamar. Swear. He's actually a little slow. And he's not the nigga y'all think he is. J. Cole's yes. slow. He's very intelligent. I, I don't like, know if you I, watched I, him. I, yes. I, I like he's J. Cole, slow. but I, also, I used to love J. Cole. I also but understand the J. Cole slander. What is what he's is not, the slander? Okay, did you were you um aware of what happened like a few months ago with No Name and J. Cole? Enlighten me. Okay, so basically she's no name is a rapper, if y'all didn't know, high viewers or whatever. She's a rapper. She's a conscious rapper. Um, and she's, like, popular for talking about, like, black issues, whatever. And as of late, she's been popular for talking about leftism, specifically socialism and communism and how black people can get into that. And so J. Cole made a song in retaliation after, I believe it was um, Olua Toyin got killed last summer. She made a song about that or she was talking about that. And then he made, uh, J. Cole made a rebuttal talking about, oh, don't talk down on people basically and all name all no name was saying was just educate yourself and then he was like i don't read books basically telling her i think i remember I don't, that. exactly it was basically a big thing telling on her exactly so basically yeah. telling her don't talk down on me and she was just trying to tell him to get educated that's when i was like okay he's slow and that's why i was like why do you because he basically Bro. put words in her mouth because okay but, he, but he, i think he came back out and like further explained like what he was trying to say because he, he didn't really he, he didn't really like understand like what she was saying then he and shouldn't then, have spoke. He shouldn't have spoke. Okay, I agree. I agree. He I made, agree. like he literally came at her and attacked her. You can't her. call her. You can't call him slow for that. Mm, I, can't I didn't call him, call him that. No, I, I, I did. Him she slow. Call, I'll call him slow and she, I'll stand on it. J Cole stands. Feel free to at me. I don't really care. She has that right. I'll call him J Cole's slow. cool. I love some J Cole songs. Who do you? But, 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 but back to the. Why do you listen to J Cole songs? Don't do that because I like J Cole. No, 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 no. I'm not a J Cole stand. I don't walk to work. No. You know what I'm saying? Like no, but look though, J Cole is real music. Why is he Kendrick Lamar is real music. So like it's like the top. It's like the topics that they're talking about is like real okay, life okay. stuff. I want to say to me, so you mean like music, with like okay, so real music to you is like consciousness, is real life like, stuff. Like Meek Mill is a real like that's real stuff. Meek Mill, Meek Mill, the being just the boys. Huh? <laughs> Meek Mill, the be talking Bro, about we're about not we're not twenty dollars per day. No, look, we're not we're not we're not talking about memes. We're talking He's about that. We're talking loser. about we're talking. About, that's not a meme. That's he, real life. He really is a loser. In real life, like Meek Mill, how's he a loser with twenty million dollars? He posted a picture in a pool with French fries on his legs. Actually, hell. Bro, people are going to keep bringing that he really up forever. Hold, he look, literally recorded look. little boys asking for $5. He's told him to get out the mud. Dude, He's stop. not a real nigga to he me. I'm to, sorry. He, he probably was trying to teach him a lesson. I don't well, know. What's the lesson behind I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, Okay, like Meek Mill was once that boy who was like actually okay, so money, that should be more of a reason to, for you to help them out. Exactly. But you, you don't know why do black people want a black people to suffer to, to get, get out the mud? That's like, dumb. You should know. put people on. Yes. What do you mean no? Natasha, if you get rich, someone if someone you, is selling water in the street, small boy, you can give him five dollars and say teach him a lesson. He's a lesson. He's a meal. What is that? If you're giving, if you're rich, you're not gonna give everybody you see on the street a million dollars. It's not about he went he to asked, his, it was his asked, old wait it was his old neighborhood. And he asked for like a dollar. No, he was not. I swear it was his old neighborhood. He was driving around. He was driving around. Why he recording? But my why he recording? Like 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 I seen I seen Maxo give people on the street like twenty dollars five dollars. He's not gonna do that every single time he sees somebody. That's fine. But why did you can't why did you record it? Why did you record it and post it? Humiliating them basically. I don't agree with him like posting it, but still like the message from the message though. Yeah. Like okay, but back to what I was saying. Yeah, I digress. To me, I get y'all saying in the day in the day to you real music is that, but I don't feel like real music has to have like a concrete. No one's no one's to hear concert all the time. It can be a real message within a young thug or a future song. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like to me to Tony. Real music is something that makes me feel something. So it's not necessarily like okay, but it that's can what be I was lit. Saying, it can and be you're like okay, fun songs versus but no, but a fun saying. song when you feel something like you don't listen to um. Last but okay. that's what I was saying. And you were like, mm-mm, somebody could read pull up in that. Mm-mm, I think it just, it, it just well, what? No, Natasha, it cannot. <laughs> okay, so no one in the world. That's what you do. You I can't lie, it, but you're just contradicting yourself. And that's okay because I'm making a point. My point is, what's the point? It's just like it's just it's not always just um like I don't just mean turn up music, but like we we can agree that that song doesn't have any meaning like to I us, but that's mean it doesn't have meaning to somebody else. Who does that's what you to? just said though. See now, now she, now she, you're arguing your own point. That's how I'm saying. Your own point because I'm, you said like some stuff will mean different things to different people. But you're saying pull up in that mm-mm. to yeah. us, it's useless, it's nonsense. But to somebody else, it could be hard. Whatever. Facts, facts. Hard is real music. 
if they think so. I don't know. Personally, I don't See, know. Like, no, I, no, okay, like, well, there's no definition. To me, real music is just something that you feel something. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to have some kind of deep conscious meaning. Yeah. You that's, know what I'm saying? I, that's how I feel Because also. there's some songs that's like R&B, there's hip hop, there's trap that make you feel something like, damn, like he really saying, or she's saying something. Yeah, facts. So it's facts, not necessarily facts, like facts. J. Cole and um, I don't feel like, Kendrick yeah. speaking about, I don't even know, like, I don't want to. But like, okay, like Kendrick speaks on like social justice. Like, I don't want to hear that stuff. all the time. No, you're right. But I'm saying like, I would like consider that real music. Like political music or like stuff talking about. I don't listen to it all events. the time. Yeah, I don't even listen to it all the time. To you. Or like Meek Mill talking about like how he went through stuff in life, how okay. you know what I'm saying, like real life stuff. Okay, so versus let's talk versus about... versus like a little Uzi who doesn't really like But Uzi be talking about He be but, he be okay, spitting. But, but, but... He be spitting, but like you see what I'm saying? Well, like I'm within not, like I'm not Okay, but, fan, as, but I want to talk about City Girls because you talked about pussy. I want to talk about that real real briefly. They used Speak to actually it. be sex workers. So that's their experience. You talking about Meek Mill okay, selling work to City Girls. They used to sell Gucci. Yes, they I were. I don't think they were self Not like famously, but girl, they used to sell the JT's bios. Pussy pay my bills. Like they talk about. Yeah, but I don't all the think they're. Se- she literally shaded uh Santana and Mami saying like y'all. Yeah, she was joking. I don't think she was. I don't think they were sex workers. She said. She just, said I was I think, on a tricking shit before it was popular. Like, yeah, I think, as I think she. No, I pussy. think she. I think she meant dating rich niggas who like pay her bills. I don't think that's the same thing as selling pussy as a pro- like. I don't think that's the same thing at all. Okay, regardless, that's still like if you only like. I feel like personally, we don't know. I guess because I mean, we don't. Yeah, we don't know. But but it's not life experience. Regardless, exactly. It's, it's a message, and then and aside from just the, I mean, the yeah, cookies, yeah, she be talking about cracking cards and stuff like that, like scamming. Yeah, she was swiping. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. so that's their experience. You're right. 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 That's just what right. I wanted to say because Coochie is powerful. It just depends. So, but I still wouldn't think of any um, City Girl song as like, oh my god, this is real music. I get, I like, I, I see. Agree okay, with your yeah, point. and I agree okay, with that. Okay, but I agree with your point. But I'm just saying, like, for City Girls, I'm like, oh my god, I like City Girls. You know, I like City Girls, but I'm like, oh my god, that song was like, you know, yeah. But you're talking about Tony doesn't have a stance. That's what I'm saying. You dabbling like on my side, her side. Is. Yeah. So I personally feel like so I guess y'all my answer. Funny. Yes. <laughs> yeah, low key. Yeah. Like you keep going back and forth, but it's okay. Um, whatever. But I don't think duality, it's very, duality it's very of subjective. Man. Yeah, it's it's, it's it very can be subjective. two things at one time. Yeah. Like she said, I agree. It can happen with somebody else. Case but closed though. There's no real definition. There's no real definition. It's very like, subjective. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. I guess it's just personal. But like, there is a definition of, yeah. of, of rubbish music. That's so sorry, I can agree like, with that. That's very some true. Some people and be in the studio just having fun and they go viral and they will say that. <laughs> it didn't have any to them. Key? Did y'all see that video when Key was in the studio like, eh, nah, 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 cheering? Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. yeah like, but but when it comes out, it's hard. It's hard. Low Key hard. You don't like Low Key? No, I like, I, I like a few songs. He's cool. He's hard. You know why I sell Big Slack? Big Slack. He's tough. Period. That's good. Dude, Tony, you're funny, bro. I'm dead. All right, so this is, I think, another perfect segue to, like, mm. Nigerians and mm. and how we've been, I feel like, running the world, I guess, musical. Yeah. Just really, in, just in life. Just in, in general. Every, in every, every single sector. sector. I don't want to I don't want to seem, like, cocky because I'm Nigerian I mean, whatever, if we seem but... cocky, let it be cocky. I can't hey, lie. We're alive. Nah. Why not? No, I was literally talking to Tosh the other day, like, how lucky are we to not only be, like, black because i feel like when you're black you have a different perspective on the world view because you have mm-hmm. an experience yeah. black in america and then not mm-hmm. only just black in america but we're like from First somewhere gen. else so we can see things First that like second maybe gen. like black americans don't really you know what i'm saying because we have a world view of stuff so like we're yeah. nigerian american you know what i'm saying to live yeah. in america because our lives should be it's so a huge privilege you know what i'm saying so like yeah yeah but and I really we were, love the influx, sorry to cut you off, but I love the influx of Nigerians getting into the creative side of things because for so long, obviously, we've been on top okay. of business, oil yeah, and gas, yeah, medicine, yeah. every step, politics, but, uh, well, we need more Nigerians in politics actually here. We, we but, might not. <laughs> we might not. <laughs> <laughs> That's another topic for another, uh, another fandom experience. Uh. But I like how recently there's been, especially in this generation, in this, um, this like, the last couple years, there's been a lot of Nigerian creatives and yeah. we're prospering. Like, the Daps nigga who shot the culture videos, Huge. like, um, even Mawala Lai, even though she's very funny and a thief, She's big in fashion, but not even those huge names. Designer. I feel like I feel like in every sector yeah. of art, like whether it's like music, fashion, you know, fashion yeah. videography, mm-hmm. physical art, Digital it's just like art. Nigerians topping styling. There's so many Nigerian Facts. stylists. Yeah. I, think, I mean, it's just second generation. Like we're being more creative. And but social not media, only second generation. Media. A lot of them be in Nigeria doing it. Exactly. Doing it exactly. Like, like actual, a lot of Nigerians, actual Nigerians, 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 like in Lagos and Abuja. Like there's a huge influx of Nigerian See, creatives back home. I ain't gonna lie, y'all have to enlighten me because I've never been there. Oh, I everywhere. can show you some people. You gotta, YouTube, like, Instagram. I'm sure yeah. people do yeah. art. A lot of Nigerian. I mean, we're saying that as if like Afrobeats is. A, a big force in the world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we yeah. have America. Drake loves our Drake. Damn everything in Nigeria. Everybody loves you know Afrobeat. So it's like it's not Nigeria. No, you go. When have you gone to H and M? You're hearing Burna Boy, David O. Like you know that's yeah. so, and, and that's my point. They it's just not got a, on. No, no facts, they didn't. Facts. But, no, they didn't just. I'm, get talk, on, I'm talking about to like the, the world. West. 
Well, my point the last is, my years. point is, because y'all, we're talking about obviously like Nigerians in the West doing great and mm. um, you know, um, doing good like Not in the good. creative, you know, sector. Yeah. But my point is, Nigerians been in the creative sector from time. I, I don't want to just say like, oh, Western or whatever. Like, you know, what I'm saying, I'm saying all, all over the world, like Nigerians are really becoming a force, and mm -hmm. not just oil and gas. You know, because we can't just we can't cut out Nigerians in Nigeria and the stem because they're the no. ones really. You know, what I'm saying they're really doing it, and they're feeling. Like, and I don't want to like, turn a down, lot of you know? people. A lot of people don't even realize, like a lot of the people that we look to here, like in they America, look to Nigeria. in the UK, they get their inspiration from creatives back in home. Nigeria. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you a couple yeah. people because they're very you live. Gotta, yeah, you gotta show me. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk. About, we'll talk yeah. about it. But, but yeah, very, I don't, don't want to really happy Nigerians and excited. Back in Nigeria out the yeah. conversation because they've been doing it. I mean, for yeah. Burna Boy to be winning Grammys, yeah, but he's crazy. even like big, like even littler people David like she said, like influencers yeah. and like YouTubers, like that. Or even like type the whole of... the whole Alte movement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that was like, big. That that's, is big. big. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like those people, and they have um, collabs with American artists. So I don't want to just say just Western. That was me, but it was accident. But yeah, I feel like. You know, just overall in every sector, like yeah. every sector. You see somebody so oh, great it. outfit and you find and out. And you're a Nigerian creative pursuing yeah. what you want to do. Even and you're like, still in school, so doing what you want to do. Period. Even um, so like examples like okay, acting, um, we have Snowfall, Dancing, Dancing Interest. Interest. He's at yeah. the top. He's like Is he Snowfall from London? Is, is he Nigerian or he's Nigerian? Yeah, he's Yorba. he's Nigerian based. Oh, he is? Yeah. Yorba. Nigerian. Yorba. <laughs> He's Nigerian based in the UK. I thought he was from London. No, I mean, he's most, most he's black people in the UK are African, though. African yeah. or Caribbean. No, nah, Snowfall, yeah. definitely. Snowfall, that's like the biggest show right now. You watch Snowfall? Fuck yeah. Oh, we have hard. watch parties for Snowfall. Uh, like, every single week. Hard. Every single week. I don't, like, I, don't like, I don't like how it ended, though. Me neither. I, I mean, agree. it's not like over they, yet. Oh, this season. Yeah, four? they got renewed. They got renewed yeah. for season five and six. Oh yeah. But yeah, either yeah, way, yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. how this ended. Regardless, if it's a renewal. Or I don't yeah, like how. Yeah, I don't but know. But that's that. that's um, off topic. But my point is, in yeah, every, we can talk about that all in day. every, in every, whether it's music, whether it's acting, whether it's fashion, some of the biggest um, stylists are Nigerian. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just saying, overall, I love to see, and a lot of them still be doing their little STEM thing. You know, exactly. Times, like we see, we see people pushing for like, oh, because you know our parents like you know STEM because it wants to succeed. But you can really do both. You can do both. You don't have to in this life you can do anything you want to do like there's this one specific girl she's from lagos she lives in lagos her name is latana darn she's actually a fashion designer and model and she's also um an engineer i think she's mm. like a chemical engineer petroleum engineer she's very smart pretty doing what she wants to do like we can really do anything and it's so inspirational it makes me yeah. really happy and excited i like i like seeing creatives because i want to see where everyone was, is a couple years Nigerian from before, creatives is like crazy before it before is. you came here we were talking about how school is a scam I was I'm not saying, saying school's a scam. I say school's a scam. I think it depends on what you want to do. I think it depends on what you want to okay, do. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in your case, you're yeah. trying to be a nurse, so like, okay. Mm -hmm. But like, what about people who major in something that's stupid and then like, they really can't, <laughs> like, no offense though, but you can't really get a job with something like, yeah. whatever they major in that's I not really. I feel like really... it's a privilege to even major in something that you can't get money off of. And I yeah. feel like that's why a lot of Nigerians are pressed to go into STEM because we know it's yeah. like a guaranteed money path. So yeah. people who do that kind of stuff, they usually have stuff to fall back but see, on what about the people That's like the true. parents what about the parents a lot of people do stuff they, they, they can't fall back on whether nigerian or not but nigerian parents yeah. push for stem because you can fall but back look, on it but look that's Girl, the thing, though. a lot of no shade communication majors that nigerian is. that's the thing though I don't what know if any. why did nigerians push you towards to being a doctor a nurse an engineer because that's an and that, what if that's not what you want to do security. no that's true but their way of what if you're not what if you're not happy that's doing that? well, their way i'm just saying that's the reason yeah excuse me it's very it's very it's very like easy to understand like it's an immigrant like their way of showing love and like making sure my kids secure making sure that you're gonna be good and you don't have to go through what they went through that's kind of the reason imagine you come yeah. to this country with nothing and, it sucks. and you manage to have a home and enough money to send your child to college you don't want your child to go to college and do nothing. And i'm not defending money, them i'm not defending it but i understand yeah. why they push for it you know what i'm saying yeah even though but at the end of the day end of the day that's them and it's okay, your okay, life but okay, but but i think is that's them we're gonna usher in a new generation of nigerian diaspora children okay, so look, we can change that but what if yeah. what if there's somebody in college right now majoring in something mm -hmm. that they don't really want to major in i'm sure there's a lot you know what I'm saying? And their and their college and their parents are making them do that. Mm -hmm. But even though I mean, it sucks. So I don't know what, what, what can we say about that. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, no, that's it's, not, no, that's not, no one's, no one's arguing that point. But that doesn't mean college is a scam. That just means they shouldn't be where they're at. Well, college is I think college is a scam <laughs> for for different reasons. I think college is a scam mm -hmm. because you can make more money. But it depends what you want to do. Doing something that doesn't have to refer to like school. School is but just, what if I want to like if okay like me public health I actually do like public health I like my major so I got a master or I'm getting a master like 
I can't just Google that stuff. Like, you actually, actually so, you know. Okay, okay, you're right. But, okay, for like, me, okay, I, hate, I hate school, though. Like, you I don't want school. your doctor uh, to be I like. Mean, who likes school? Yeah. I like my major. Okay, I don't like school. Okay, I don't, I don't like anything in school. Major related, I don't <laughs> okay, like what, school. Okay, what, so what is your major? Public, public, public health. health. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I don't yeah. like, I don't like school. You don't want to do it, but you don't want to work in public health, so that's a good situation. I don't want to do anything related to school. Exactly, but that's that's you, though. That's been college a scam. That just means you should go to college. No, college is a scam because there's a cap on how much you can make, even at a job that you get. Even if I was in engineering you can only mm -hmm. make this certain amount and that's why i don't think that's necessarily this true is, it's not so much college a scam capitalism is a scam yes and, and on top of that you're paying really thousands of dollars and you're gonna be in debt when you get out yeah and that's why that's, scam. But that's capitalism that's depends. not really so yeah. much college like it, it's just it's i mean just maybe okay it, i guess it depends on like what you want your life to be mm. to me yeah and that whole no, but you're right though like the being in debt i don't think it's a cap on every single um thingy huh I don't think there's a cap on every profession. Like you can, uh, like even like as a nurse, as a doctor, there's you can make a lot of money. Like it's not, I don't think there's a cap on anything. Okay, besides from a doctor no, that's, and that's an engineer, certain certain professions. You, but as you not as you, as you stay in that field, okay, your your pay might rise, but there's still a cap on how no, much you can. No, because as, as an as, artist, as, there's no there's no cap. As a designer, no, I don't, there's I don't, no cap I don't agree because as, as, no, I don't agree because as a nurse, let's say Natasha becomes a nurse, does her little you know like experience blah, 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 and establish a clinic and it makes a whole chain. There's no cap on that. I don't think there's a cap on anything. It's just okay. You as far as your imagination goes is how far you can go really you can really people really be doing stuff and become innovative in their field like you can mm -hmm. be an engineer i and, agree but you have like, to have a passion for that yeah that's why you're in school that's what i'm saying if you're yes. school is a scam if you don't have a passion for what but the normal about. the normal person is not going to go start a clinic you're going to work as a nurse because that's what you want to do so you're so talking you about saying, outside because that would be an outlier situation yes making, that's what i'm saying okay but at the end of the day like that's like just but one not, thing okay but it's not a cap but on this all goes back salary. to capitalism because not everyone wants to be a and that's what I'm some saying. people just want to be comfortable that's, so them and, okay, having and that's that nurse salary or entry salary is fine okay that's what i'm saying so it depends on like how you want your life to be it's just the system it's the way things are set up that needs to be revamped really but education is not so, a so depending on what you want to do. On the COVID situation and mm -hmm. how's the pandemic changed, y'all? Because like the reason question. the reason why I think like the way I think and why I don't and why I think school is a scam is because mm -hmm. after the pandemic, you I just thought started, school doesn't matter. No, I mean I just started reading books and it's just like, bro, like Ooh, she got you, but you could have read before the pandemic though. I could have, but I picked it you up. You got more time. Okay, so then what you what you like? What I just feel like. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to. Mm -hmm. I want. I don't want a cap to be how much I can make in like life, and mm -hmm. I don't want to do a job. You don't want to work for somebody that that just because I have to make a living for me and my family, my future family. Like mm -hmm. to me, like yeah. that's not that's stupid. Like, mm -hmm. but like, how is your? So you think your mindset? The pandemic basically helped you change your mindset and figure life. out what you want to do. Yeah. Okay. That's and good. then understanding how like life like really is and. Like after you graduate, you're gonna have to get a call. You're gonna have to get a job, mm -hmm. or you're gonna either get your master's, depending on like what you want to do. But mm -hmm. even getting your master's, it's like a stop until you have to get a real job. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if you're not doing what you really want to do in life, then it's like, I, I don't want to be that person who's like, damn, like I did this because I have I to agree. provide for I, that. I, I, and I, I wish agree, I could have done but, this. But, but, yeah, like. But this mm -hmm. kind of ties into what we we're saying earlier. So like with me, I want to do public health, but that's not all I want to do. Yeah, obviously. you don't have to choose. In this I have life. a YouTube. Follow me on Period. YouTube, Tony Ade. But like with me, I don't want to just do one thing. Like you can do you know your profession because me personally i don't know people don't want to be uh you know a business they don't want to work for somebody i love a nine to five i love clocking in and clocking out and not about that all like mm -hmm. i like i like that but at the same time you can do more than one thing you know what i'm saying like what if i want to work part-time and then have a job as like something else on the side so i feel like everyone is different and it's just all about having an image not image um like your vision for what you want your life to be like you said earlier yeah i want to have my public health career and i also want to have like whatever else i want to do you know I, what i'm saying i don't yeah. want that to be my whole life i feel like you can do 10 things like life like is in phases and eras you know what i'm saying i can do public health for a few years and then do that or do the same time you know what i'm saying there's no like black and white the way you're saying yeah. you know what i'm saying so it's yeah. like you know you know what i'm saying yeah so for I get what you're saying. so for how it changed you like how do, how do you think your mindset changed like with the if, it change, if it changed at all yeah me um come back to me let me think okay how well, about for how, me, how did it change you for me personally like i just that's why i said like like this kind of ties back into what we were talking about earlier with like the influx of people and creative specifically that kind of like i don't really i don't want to say like it showed me like oh you can do this or whatever but i feel like the time away for a lot of people like mm -hmm. from the routine and kind of breaking up the everyday like do this wake up do that yeah. it kind of snapped me out of like the monotony of stuff and it let me see okay like okay i'm not gonna do this all the time like you know like i'm not gonna always be in school like there's more to it and i started planning certain things stay on the lookout for my youtube it's <laughs> gonna be um natasha wobu just my first and last name yeah um we'll put it in the description box later Definitely period will. and um just like just like regular stuff like that it helped me think about like 
because I'm always been the kind of person that like starts a bunch of different things and doesn't finish them. Yeah. So and it's a really like bad habit. Um, but anyway, it helped me like realize like it's okay to take time and actually plan shit out and like kind of have a place to like go from if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as for like mental health wise, it also made me like take some time out to like figure out some shit that I had going on. Yeah. And like look into getting help in certain areas that I hadn't done before. Cause like, like, like what do you mean? Like what areas? Um, so I actually started therapy. Like that's one thing, like that was a big thing that I've been putting off for a couple years. Like before for the Yeah. For myself before the pandemic, like I'd always kind of known like for a few years, like, okay, this is something I actually want to do. Like I want to like pursue that and like better myself in this area. Yeah. But it wasn't until the pandemic actually started that I actually pursued that. Cause for some reason, like, I just had anxiety about it. Like, I don't want to tell a stranger my business. Like, I don't want to yeah, tell you what's going on in my head. I like, hear that a lot. Like, exactly. I, hear people I was like, how am I going to open up to this person? Whatever, whatever. But I was like, yeah. fuck it. Like, I have this time aside for myself. Like, okay, I have school, whatever, whatever. But not having to wake up, get ready, go on campus, do all this kind of stuff. It kind of makes you like, okay, let me compartmentalize and actually like do everything I've been putting off for yeah. a couple of years. So did it help you though? Like it helped therapy? me a lot. It actually helped me a lot. And that's one thing like Tony knows, like not just like therapy, but like um not just like talk therapy, medication, all that kind of stuff, but it helped me like like realize certain things that I was doing, like why I was doing certain things. Yeah, stuff like okay. that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess like to sum it up, like TLDR, long story short, all that kind of stuff, it just gave me <laughs> it gave me time. <laughs> Girl, anyway, she hates hate acronym. What is TLD? You know what that means? No, I look you're trying to figure out. It's a Reddit, it's a Reddit acronym. Out. I'm not going to get into it. It basically means long story short. Oh, okay. Basically, okay. it just it just made me sit down and actually do some shit that I've been putting off. And I'm yeah. still working on some shit. So. Facts. Yeah. For me. And um, reflect on myself. A lot of self-reflection time. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. She be talking over everybody else. But it's <laughs> I issue. do not. You I do. do. We'll see it. Y'all can play back. Tell you didn't cut us off like like how me, many times? I feel like I'm getting cut off. No. Or anyway, go, go ahead. ahead. This is your time to shine. Thank you. I feel as though for me, um, the pandemic has taught me that like you can do anything with no limit on life, and then Ooh, also kinda. everything, nothing actually matters. So it's like I guess those are two kind of opposite things, but they kind of tie in. Like any mistakes or failures you make, it doesn't matter. No one even cares except you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things aren't even mm -hmm. real. Yeah. End of the day, we live on a floating rock. You know, it's, you know like, like well, what do you mean stuff? That's as in, real? like things that we stress over don't actually matter. Like you're in your 10, head. 10 Nine 20, times out of ten, you're in your own head. Ten to twenty years from now, you're not even gonna remember the things that you're over here like breaking your head about. Oh, you know okay, okay, yeah, yeah, things don't matter. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot yeah, of things yeah. actually don't matter. Like yeah. you know, just go for and it. And then like life is limitless. So, like um, I guess like I used to watch a lot of documentaries. There's a lot of podcasts. So, like I watched like the HBO Max special for like Tina Turner mm -hmm. um, about her life. And then I was listening to like this podcast talk about like um, Jay-Z, like how he came from like the, the Marcy projects to being like a black billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Right, so it's like your life day. Those are like single people. But in the day, I mean, we're in a, we are in a generation. I won't say we're a generation of black wealth because black people are still very poor around the world, mm -hmm. but they are becoming more black people, people join the, the black, I guess the middle class or the upper class or whatever. So it's yeah. like life is really limitless. And even besides that, it's like I was talking about the whole like Nigerian creatives that also mm -hmm. do STEM. So it's like seeing Nigerian creatives actually very inspiring. You know what I'm saying? It's really so it's inspiring. Like, it is, it is. So I guess like, I guess, yeah, that's just really what it shows me. Like things don't matter and life is limitless. Like that's just the, and you can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And there's no like, um, like end of the day, no one knows what they're doing in life. Everyone's mm -hmm. winging it. Our parents are that's winging it. Our parents. Whoa, what do you mean? Winging it. No like, one you knows think what they're you doing. Look at people. You can look at people. And that's another thing I learned in this pandemic was it's very, it's human nature to compare yourself to other people. But there's no that's not, that's not, that's not what I was saying. No, that's, that's, that's not, not what I was saying. I'm not tying into your one point. Time, one but, other time. Yeah, I'm not tying into your point. But it's human nature to compare yourself to other people. But <laughs> yeah. no one, no one has their shit together. So when I so say, there's no point. When I say, I just mean as like when I say that, I mean like it makes you more a forgiving and b it makes you put less stress on yourself. You don't think I have to because you know sometimes we put it could tie into comparison though. But I think I need to do X Y Z by this time. But really like. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, and then also like when, when you, because a lot of times people get mad at their parents. Not even, not about me, but this is an example. Like, some people get mad at parents. Your parents have never been a parent before. You know what I'm saying? Everyone is winging it. No one knows what they're doing in this life. Really, people just get lucky. People get, you know what I'm saying? Unlucky. So in the day, like, I mean, you shouldn't put pressure on yourself to like, you know what I'm saying? To get somewhere because in the day, whoever you're looking towards, they don't even know how they got there. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't feel like that's always necessary. It's not, it's not always because true. I feel like you it's have subjective. to, you have to have a clear mind of where you, you want to go. You have to have a clear life, mind. And you have to have like, okay, but there's things you don't, you don't expect. In the day, you have a clear mind, but in the day, you don't know how to do everything in life. Yes, everything's a learning What do you experience. mean? Okay, there's a learning like, curve. 
curve. Like, like let's say, yeah, let's like, say when I graduate, right? Because I'm in nursing school. I graduate soon, y'all. A few months. When I graduate, I'm not gonna know it all. Like, I'm gonna have to no ask knows people. It all, basically. But, but, yeah. But that's not winging it. That's just you going through life like a like a phase. And that's but because uh, you have to get to the point of graduating uh, college to get to that point. Okay, yeah, that's of course. Not, that's not but okay, with experience, okay, with experience, land. with experience comes like you know like confidence in your skills and stuff. But at the end of the day, like. You're not. There's no manual for life. That's so literally what, what I'm saying out. is right now us we're in our early twenties. We I didn't know you have your vision. End of the day, like mm-hmm. I, you know, you want to make your own reality. But you look up to people as inspiration. End of the day, they don't know how they even got there most of the time. You know, it just happened. All I'm saying is like is that no true? one. Yes, I think that like things just happen. Like I, I feel like it takes. You I'm gonna let you finish. I let you finish. But you're saying though, right? Yeah. Like as in like there's no manual to life. Like no one has to figure there's it out. Not, but but so, you, you have to have you have to have clear but goals. You can of have where you're a, but you can have. But I'm not saying don't have goals. I have goals. But end of the day, there's no blueprint to life. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you make your own path. So like fact. Is that okay? Like okay? Like you. There's no other. That's, y'all are like agreeing and you don't even I feel like you're that trying to like argue her point and you're agreeing with her point listen, listen, sense it doesn't make, it makes listen, sense listen okay example lie. there's no other fans to make this is the first fans experience ever and it's gonna be the only one there's no blueprint to this you have to figure out what you're gonna do next take your things to the next level that's what I'm saying so in, instead of having stress I'm like, oh my god what am I gonna do to blah 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 you have to realize that like no one else has ever had a phantom experience I'm phantom experience I create my okay. own my own story my own journey my own path that's what I mean by but that. But what if what if I just woke up every day and said, okay, fuck it, like I'm just wing everything. Okay, so to that answer, that's not what I said. Let me jump in. 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 I feel like. Uh, wait, we need wait, like wait, a little, wait, 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 like wait. A little buzzer. No, okay, but wait, wait. I feel like you have to have like. But I didn't say how. Okay, I okay. Listen, you have a goal. You have an image for what you want your life to look like, and your yes. your pocket look like. And every day, but every day, day you have to be of, doing stuff to reach okay, that goal. Yes, and every day, and works, if stuff happened in in between but, that, that you know you can't like. I want to say the same thing. You're saying this. That's you're like Daniel. That's what, that's what I'm, I'm nah. saying. No, I'm saying Daniel. the same thing as you. You guys are arguing. Let me. 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 You have a goal and you work towards your goal. Every day you work towards it, but you don't know what tomorrow's work is gonna look like for your, you know, for your, for your. Facts, 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 facts. So what I'm saying is, there's no blueprint. Like you know, what I'm saying like you, you. Kind of, I'm not saying you, winging it. Maybe that threw you off, but I'm saying every day is a new journey. You never know what's gonna go at you. Maybe it's the winging part that you know. Yeah, and to tie, I make it so, sense. Oh, okay. Girls, to wrap yeah. it up, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, you hear. tried to play me like what I was saying didn't have something to do with what you were saying. It did, but, but that's tie, not what I meant though. Anyway, I'm but to tie it. Okay, thank you. So to like basically to wrap up this little segment. What she's saying is, even though, like, of course, you need goals. We all know that. Like, you can't wake up and just, like, oh, I'm gonna do that. like, no. Yeah. You have to have kind of an direction. idea of what you want to do. Exactly. Direction, goals, whatever. And you have to work. You have to put the work in. But at the end of the day, people that you're looking up to or whatever, they had goals and direction, too. But everyone no is one... literally just trying their best. That's Th- literally That's it. all I'm saying. All I'm saying that's right it. now is progress is that's why perfection. You can't... Literally, exactly. that's all I'm saying. Like, and that's why, of that's course, what I learned. Of course, like... you need goals. Of course, you need goals. You need, you need plans. You need work. You need outlines. But at the end of the day, and that's why I said comparing yourself to other people doesn't make sense because... They had a plan. You have a plan. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think you should compare but, yourself to anybody. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Why it's do you human, do that? Exactly. It's human nature to look at people or like, oh, I want to do this by this point and kind of judge your yeah, progress yeah. by other people's progress. But, but everyone's journey is different. No, yeah. Right. It's no, the whole I, I wasn't thing. saying what you were saying was wrong. I'm just saying that. No, I'm saying, I know, but you said it didn't tie in. It ties no, in. No, no, it ties in for sure. But yeah, literally the whole, like the nucleus, what I'm saying that you're trying to play me about. I'm not yeah, trying to play you. I'm just saying. Was just that progress over perfection. No one has figured out, so you don't have to have figured out. You can have a goal and an aim, and as long as you're working towards, that that's, that's great. better you know that's saying? better than nothing but don't beat yourself up because you're not where you know what i'm saying that's what this I'm certain, say. like yeah. i have to do this by this there's time no i manual. have to have this by this there's no man like there's a quote i love this quote i don't know who said it but there's a quote that says we make plans and god laughs like literally at the end of the day your time and your journey is your time and it's your, your journey, journey is your and path. god's plan is your is god's plan and no one else has ever been on so, your path before that's what god's plan drake's there you see it i don't like that i like it i like it i like it i agree i agree i'm not agreeing with tony though wait Literally and I'm not. Chun- <laughs> Chun- I'm- Chun- Chun- T, they want to make me the bad guy. Whatever you get, the viewers. He gets it. He gets it. You get what I'm saying. I guess no, I guess I'm, saying, I guess I'm just. I'm just saying. I, I. I think we're saying the same thing. Y'all say like that's what I was saying. You were literally agreeing with her. I'm just and saying. You want to argue with me. <laughs> no, I'm literally like your boss do. No, look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No, if you have a goal, work towards your goal forever. Yes, hmm? but yeah, work towards your goal. We, yeah, like focused on, like focus on, like, but like people who don't have goals and just think. No, if you're stuff, a bum, that's your business. I'm not talking to bums. I'm okay, talking to, like, talking to us. But do you not
Okay, but for that's, sure. But that's you know not what I mean? that. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This has that's not tying into like what we're talking about. I'm mm-hmm. just. It's just another question. Yeah, I mean, at a certain age, I want goals, not even comparing to like other people. Just yeah, myself. Like just at a certain age, I want to have a certain amount of money. I want to be at a certain point in life. Yeah. Whether I get there or not. I feel like... But that's the thing. Like, you're working towards that, and that's good. But let's say you reach that age. God, I'm sure you'll reach that age in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, And amen. you'll have everything you want. But let's say you don't. At the end of the day, you'll still be successful because you're not a bum. Yeah, I agree. That's not... you'll still yeah. be working towards Fact, that goal. And I feel like you're so, reading into what I said really deep. Because you're talking about, at this age, I don't have money. I'm just saying, day by day, no one has figured out. So I don't think you guys have figured out. But still Fact, work with your goals. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, like have a plan. Think, work towards it. But don't beat yourself up if yeah. you're you, off by a couple of goes on. Literally. You, you saying winging it, 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 it. I don't know. Winging it. It was the, it was the, it was the phrase that I threw mean, you off. Yeah. Because she was like, though. some people might listen to this and be like, yeah, well, I can just do whatever I want. <laughs> if they want to be a bum, Tonya endorsed that. I'm not a bum. So that was <laughs> nah, a personal not, choice. For sure. For sure. So, just a yeah. PSA. I want to. I want to actually get to this last one uh-huh. of why do people drag their feet with commitment? Because hmm. I don't know. I want y'all like to enlighten me on like specifically. We, didn't say, we, said, we said black people. That okay, was, black specifically. people. Specifically. Specifically. Okay, so we were actually gonna show up here, y'all, with some links, and we'll probably link them in the description when we find PubMed articles yeah, to support our claim. The description box now, girl, because it. <laughs> I, I need like a written i need a written thing like i'm very visual like i can mm-hmm. hear it but i need like evidence yeah so we'll have some evidence to support our claims but if you look statistically at like the different races different cultures black people across the diaspora that's jamaicans africans black americans everyone yeah they actually tend to take longer to commit to long-term relationships than their counterparts wait before you go any longer this girl said she was like in two weeks you need to be committed to i would i did not say that that's, wait tony that's what you I said i did not say that he, that wants, is, he wants me to seem crazy Bro. i was late y'all i was late so <laughs> fill me in what wait, you, 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 you believe that really wait, oh, oh, wait, okay okay wait okay what did viewers. you say what did you I was say just, that was a joke oh my y'all know i'd be like over exaggerating i'm just saying compared to others to get into you know it. what i'm saying I, we, were, we were just having a first and he's trying to hug me because that was our behind the scenes conversation Yes. But I was just joking, obviously. And I, I told him, literally, it's not just, um, we're not saying black males take forever. We said black people as a whole. Black so black women, we yeah. both been and, I, where, and you know what I said in response to her saying that? Where? I said, why should I have to stay committed to you in two weeks? And she and, said, and no, but, and she okay, said, but, yeah, you even forced the two weeks. Okay, though. wait, but you listen, but listen, but listen, but listen, but listen, but listen, I just want to make clear that you said that. I said to her, I was kidding. But I also said, we have both been the girl who does not want to get cups. So yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, you just said that. You just it's not just men. It's not just men. Black people as a whole. Black people, we take our time. When it comes to romance, like, that's yeah. the point I'm making. And honestly, yeah. I don't, like, this claim that I'm about to make, I don't know if it's supported by evidence or whatever, but I feel it's like maybe... Me, period. Ooh. <laughs> but, <it>. but I haven't <laughs> said it yet. Period. <laughs> Y'all see it. Big Tony. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna say, I feel like the reason it is is maybe because, like, our peers, especially white people, because white people, we all know that white couple who meets each other, they like each other together in a week. Like, white people, white people and get then they together, get a dog, they, they, get, they, they adopt, look, they that's, move that's, in. That's craziness. No, it's crazy. No, it's not. It's, it, it's that it, is it, crazy. Okay, okay, you that, met somebody within okay, a week okay, and okay, that's crazy. Okay, but okay, that's, 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 that's a, he doesn't understand hyperbole. Okay, 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 even, okay, even, like, what do you think is like? But wait, let me land though. But I feel like the reason, maybe like white people, white people like to jump off cliffs and shit. Y'all don't have nothing else going on. We're just I'm we're just talking about other people, everyone is that black. That's yes. not because non blacks because he, he said that's dumb, but it can't be dumb if the rest of the world's doing it's only black people without doing it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it can't be dumb. Yeah, I need, I need but to see, from, I need to see I'm some talking facts. about on the two ends of on the two ends of the spectrum, Race. there's black people and here, white. there's white people here. That's yeah. why I'm talking about white people to contrast that. We're talking about non blacks yeah. yeah. But white people are the most different from us in terms of committed relationships. Yeah. They get together quick, they move in quick, they get married quick, they divorce they move quick. On quick. They divorce quick too, but they get and remarried. And they move on quick. But listen, we get divorced too. Let's I mean, not, let's not do no, that. No, but no, hold on. Let me land. Let me land though. No, because he's saying that it's bad to get divorced quick. That's good. More Africans and more black people should get divorced. Y'all don't be happy. Yeah, I That's agree. True. People be people be miserable in marriages and staying in love. My, but my point is, why would you want? But to I'm, get not together I'm, not I'm not to, done. To, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Because life is because life is short. But they act on getting wait, together. Listen, fast. Doesn't mean you're gonna break up fast though. But let me land, y'all. That, I'm you not you done. don't know the person. I'm not done though. Just, let her land. I feel like the reason why people, for instance, are so quick compared to us and other people is because they have nothing else in their life to really like shake things up and make them worry. <laughs> They're very easygoing. Like, we all know about white privilege. Y'all don't have nothing to worry about. So I'll be jumping off of planes and stuff. 
stuff. Yeah. So I feel like personally, this She's might not, not be this might not be supported by evidence, but I feel like the reason black people drag their feet when it comes to commitment is because we have more shit to worry about. Like statistically, we have more shit to worry about. Economically, we have more shit to worry about. Where you want to go, you have more shit to worry about. So there's more to mm-hmm. there's more to consider when you're thinking about a long term partner. And, I mean, I just think That's also like just culturally, we just have different like. I don't know, like non black people, they just something's just simple to them. And for us, we just make things complicated. And yeah, like, I but definitely, to I definitely, cause I definitely agree with that. But I feel like it's even just, I don't know, like, I don't know how to, like, I feel like it's just more than that, too. Because obviously, they it have has to be more than that. Yeah. But I feel like, damn, it's a very nuanced, why, it's a very nuanced um, topic. But I feel like that's a big part of it. We have more to consider. Black people love arguing. How long should y'all talk? Like, oh my God. Like, and we're the only ones that really bring who, that Yeah, show. like, oh, why okay. is it only I swear. us? How long do you think you should talk oh to somebody before y'all get in a relationship? However, with them? I'll say this: I'll however say long th- you want to, everything's subjective. Then people have different. Okay, everything's concepts. subjective, but I'll That's say this: true. That's everything's not subjective, true. but I'll no. say this: I'll say this right now. If you've been talking, let, I even hate the term "talking." If you've been dating, dating someone, if yeah. you've been dating someone non-exclusively, you're dating other people. You've been dating this person for, let's say, a year. A year is the max. A year's the okay, max. Okay, there's you a time. Well, you said you said non-exclusive or exclusive? Non-exclusive. A year yeah. is the max. That's not even your, your man for real or exactly. your girl. Okay, that's, that's what okay, I'm asking. That's what I'm asking you. Exactly. That's the max. I'm a saying the, the, fact, the fact that we even have to have these conversations as a black community is just so funny. Because there's an like, issue. Why? There's you know an what I'm saying? Do what works for you in the day. Why do we always have to argue about like, oh my God, there's an issue. And if he don't do this by this time, you're dumb. And if he like who like just do what works for you. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're with somebody like you're not dating them for like two years, that's crazy. Exactly. It is, That's it crazy. is, I agree. A year but the I'm max saying, okay, so you, per- I want to hear a nigga, actually. What, mean, what's I, your perspective? I actually don't want to hear your perspective, actually. I want to hear it, because niggas be te- niggas be saying, a year is the, but the be, shortest but, time I can talk they, to a girl. But they be lying, like, what is, we know what is, that. What is your they question? do be lying, Wait, but what's your they question? be saying it. I want to hear, my question to you is the same question. How long do you think you should talk to somebody before date, you make it official? How long date somebody? It depends on the person. See, so... Why so when she said it, it just depends on the. So person. why it depend when you say? When I say it, don't depend. No, what do you mean? I say it depends. I'm like, nah, 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 it just nah, depends. Nah, nah. I'm like maybe like it's a year and funny. a half. A year and a half without a title. Like we're still like I'm not talking to nobody though, but we still like you know. What if I'm you're saying? exclusive, still... then you're in a relationship. No. What's like, the difference? Like if I'm talking to you, we're just talking. But like I might not be talking to somebody else. But like I don't have to put a title on it. Why do y'all care for a title so much? Because Who that's said we want a because title. The thing is, why y'all, listen, girls, hold on, females wait, want wait, titles. Wait, wait. No, because y'all feel secure. I, I said I want a title. Okay. If I, listen, no, 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 wait. Let me let me, let me let me let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. It depends. Let me finish. If you're not if you're not dating anyone else, I'm not dating anyone else. That's what a relationship is in the dictionary. In the dictionary. In the dictionary. Thank you. Like it's not about a title. It's about words mean things. In the dictionary, I don't know what talking is. <laughs> I don't know what yeah. dating is. That's not um, in there. Okay, is not a, part, in there. A, part, a, part. a relationship is we're both committed to each other, and we're not talking to nobody else. And we agree that's your girlfriend. Words. But girls, but girls like titles. That's that's just true. Girls that's like facts. dictionary definitions. Because y'all like dating. titles. Because why would you? Be y'all like to say well, that. Y'all like to but, say, uh, that's him. That's mine. It's okay, not about. It's but, not about but, that. But, but, it's really honestly, not about that. I can't lie. Why would you be supposed to be with somebody and there's no direction? If you're exclusive, why are we laying up every day? And that's my thing. If no one does that, okay, but. Oh, <laughs> this guy. And he felt, <laughs> he felt very sexy. You felt sexy. He felt very cool. I feel like it's subjective. Not every girl. That and that. I don't like the reason why I said that because mm-hmm. obviously I'm not gonna be dating nobody for no reason. Obviously, like that's like, I'm not. I'm not. When I, let me just when, say. No, no this is what, what, when I said title. No, when I said when I said not one it was at a title. Time, one at a time. See, I was talking though. And she come off. Oh. Girl, anyway, I'm gonna turn to When I said <laughs> when I said <laughs> don't want to title, I didn't see me. I'm just saying that because the way you said that was as if oh my god, all girls want to title. Girls don't be like y'all like girls. We're not pressed about it. Niggas be thirsty really. Thank you. Let's start there. Let's start there. Not every girl. Not every girl. Not every girl wants every Thank guy she deals with to be serious with her. Let's not that's So don't say girls want titles. But I was talking no. about title. I was talking about so guys. Okay, but I was talking about it in the point yeah. of and from the point of view of yeah. someone, if we're both exclusive to each other, we clearly only want to talk to each other, only date each other, then we're together. Yeah. If you're not talking to I'm I mean, not gonna, there's some people you just want to have a good time. Not, with, if you're not you calling know? me your girlfriend, I'm talking to other people, I'm dating other people. It's simple. That's There's sick. no gray area. How is that sick? sick? Wait, so if we're just talking for like a year, let's, let's say dating. No, dating. because because there's a talking stage and then there's a dating no, there stage. Isn't. Dating to me, <laughs> is dating, dating is when you know I ask what? you to be my girlfriend. And you know what? No, that's that's for me. No, that's a that, relationship. Is, that is committed. Dating, that's like dating is like dating. It's dating bullshit. and talking are the same thing. Dating is like you're bullshit. going on dates. You're talking to different people. Okay, cool. Okay, that's what I look at. So, so when you're dating someone non-exclusively. Okay, so if we're dating for like a year and a half, but we're not, I haven't made you my girlfriend yet. That's not. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, so nothing's wrong with that. 
don't want me touching. Nothing wrong with me doing that same thing. Oh, no, you tripping. You can't be talking to nobody else. Why? That's crazy. I'm not your girlfriend. I've been talking to you for a year and a half. I'm not your girlfriend. You're not my it's boyfriend. Like, it's like almost like your mind without like the title being okay, there. Okay, that's stupid. Yours, that's, that's not stupid. Niggas want to have their cake and eat it too. What no. Do you do? No, but listen listen to what you just said. Your mind, have, how am I yours? <laughs> You're mine, but like you're. I'm not. You don't, you don't feel that, that doesn't funny, make like, sense. You don't that actually does not make sense. What do you mean? If you, <laughs> if, 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 so if you, if, if you told that your mom, like, what, hey, hey, about hey it. mom, hey mom, this is X Y Z. Yeah, she's mine, but that's not my girlfriend. We don't have a title. Like, but this, exactly. like, what does that mean? Because like, in a year and a half, like, you're gonna have events that you want to take the girl to, right? So you're gonna. Oh, this is my friend. Are nah, you like, bro, okay, so it's for friends. That's my girl. That's your friend. They don't. They don't need a. They don't need a no. No, but wait, wait, that's your girlfriend. Wait, but my thing but, is, but my that's thing your is, girlfriend. My thing, that's your girlfriend. My thing is, that's my girl. That's your girlfriend. Y'all don't need to know, like, you know what I'm saying? If that's your girl, that's what your girl. What we got going on? But like, that's my girl. Add a friend. That's your girl. Who, who are you scared of? Like, who are you hiding from? Add a friend. That's your girl. Then it's your girlfriend. Thank you. But we don't have what? Sex. No, but in the day, if you don't want to call your girlfriend, she has other friends. You know exactly. what I'm saying? She has other friends talking to. So like, that's her issue. boy. That's her boy. You're her boy too. That's her boy. 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 You can't do that. Why? Why? That's just nah. Okay. <laughs> He's very sick. That's I'm not. I'm not sick. I'm just. You, you know what I'm saying? I gotta give y'all the real. You're crazy. Everyone is you're still different. my. You're still my girl, but it's just like you know. And, friends. You, and you're still my guy, but I also have other friends. I have. And that's friends. not cool, bro. How's and it, not cool? So it won't be cool. We'll leave it at that. But my thing is, <laughs> we gotta leave it at that. It won't Simple. be cool. <laughs> Simple. I guess. <laughs> I guess it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay that way because that's cool. Whatever, you guys are very much. That's weird to me. Like if you're already going to the stage of we're not talking about that's the, the definition of a relationship. The thing is, I know it's weird to them too. They like to say stuff. They think it's funny. Look in the mirror and say that. Like, like talking about? Look in the mirror and say, yeah, yeah, that's my girl. She's mine, but we're not together. Like, like what, what are you talking mean? about? If we're not together, then I can then talk where's, to people. Where's the ownership? I don't want to argue the same thing again, but I'm just saying. So if I'm Okay, if I'm you dating, see, and this brings back to my original point. Why do we have these conversations? Like, this is so complicated. But that ties it back to the original, original that's point. point. Black, Black people, people dragging drag everything with things. commitment. Like, why? Because why don't you want to commit? If that's your girl, then that's your girlfriend. It's girls too, though. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why do we even do all this That's crazy to me. Don't just say guys. Girls do it too. Okay, but we're talking about you because you said that's yeah, my girl. You, you, we didn't say that's my you, guy. Yeah. You specifically said and, that's and my that's, girl. And that's no different. Title. And that's different. Girls, if you know someone not a guy that you want to be serious with, you're not gonna be claiming the guy. Exactly. And that's the difference between guys. Us. Let's talk about that. Girls, what well, girls believe in boundaries. Like, that's just if quick. You, if <laughs> I don't want you, exactly. If it's just dick, if it's just a food guy, if it's just this or that, you're gonna treat him like that. It's just if you want a girlfriend, that's not a girlfriend. That's a girlfriend. It's not a, like what? That don't make sense. Y'all playing house. Exactly. But that's not your wife for what though. So she can go on it other happen, dates. It happens though. So she can go on. It happens not a lot. It, but happens. It, it happens a lot, but not in my life. So they, you know what? <laughs> never in my life. They intentionally then. Not what is that? Me. Why would it happen? Just fell from the sky. Like it happens it, every hey. day, but not over here. Hey. Like not this way. It happens in, Amen. in, our, in our, it happens in our community a lot. So. It does. And not we, over here. Yeah, though. that's that's that, that's the whole point. We're saying why do we as the black race. Like, you know what I'm saying? Things, things take time, bro. You can't just, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and other, like dates, other dates take time, can't. too, with other So how come things take time for other that? Other dates, no, not but, take time. No, but, how come things take time for that? But when I said, no one has to figure it out. <laughs> That is not making no so sense. Somebody said she's impressed on the Daniel Fence. Bro, why are you, why are you, dude? She's like you're impressing her. I'm not pressing you. <laughs> he, he, was trying, he was trying to do me a little bit today. Nah, chill, chill. Look, but long man. story short, that don't make sense to me. Because in the dictionary, if we're exclusive, <laughs> we're not dating other people. It's a relationship. But if it's not, then I can go on other dates. But if you don't, if you don't call it that, I don't call it that. But we're not Simple. together. We're not together. Simple. I agree. I agree. Do you? That's the end of our little segment episode. Thank you, y'all. I really appreciate Ooh, you, Tony. That actually really flew by. I it really, really did. That was it fun. Did. It was. I loved y'all being on here. Aww, thank you, Tony, for coming on. We love on. being on here, too. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Natasha, thank you so much. Can you give me a little fist bump yeah. on the camera? Oop, y'all didn't see it, but we fist bump. Hey, follow we they. Can't, we can't I'm a, fist I'm going to put their Instas in the, in our, in, in in the our Twitter Twitters. and the YouTubes. Period. Both. You're, you're coming out with the YouTubes? Coming or you already soon. have one? Loading. Very, very soon. I already have one. She's coming. You already have one? Yeah, subscribe to Tony Day. period. T-O-N-I-A-D-E. I'm going to put all. I'm going to put every link. I need y'all to. Um. I need y'all to put the little uh, articles for yeah, what, we will. the arguments I'll that you're talking you. about. Because, Tony, you're crazy. And I'm like, why <laughs> am I crazy? crazy? We literally agreed and about And why did things. he do articles as if not studied? First of all, Look, I don't reviewed, know. You got to enlighten me. You got to enlighten me. articles, my You dude. don't want to be enlightened. Y'all like the darkness. <laughs> we don't like, we don't do that, uh, First of all, I believe in Wikipedia, but we don't do that Google stuff. Everything we peer review, scholarly research, I'm academic article, we're scholars. I'm, I'm gonna put it on there. Period. And, you can't, and, let you the, can. and let the people decide. Thank you. People decide if I'm right. But guess or what? If they're right. Yeah. Guess, comment. Comment under which topic y'all like. But the best guess what? Also. I don't care what y'all comment. I said what I said.